Let's now talk about how to carry out a multimodal discourse analysis. There are various steps involved in, in carrying out a multimodal discourse analysis, uh, similar to any other discourse uh, analysis or critical discourse analysis. A difference, however, lie that what uh, resources would be consulted to reach a certain meaning and how uh, various uh, uh, various uh, components of the text uh, will will be considered important in order to reach meaning so uh, overall the process may be similar to any other discourse analysis but the elements which contribute to meaning uh, would would or probably may be different in a multimodal discourse analysis in the first step, the data is collected. It may be the visual or, uh, or a spoken or written text or, or maybe uh, some kind of soundtrack. So data is collected and certain notes are, are made about uh, the data, which would help a researcher to get a deep understanding of the data. Uh, if he wants to see, uh, let's say a certain video cl clip he wants to analyze again, the notes are the first uh, watching would be useful uh, at the second watch of the same uh, video clip. Uh, then he, uh, the researcher can, al can also make some additional commentary which can be added, uh, his first thoughts, ideas, and which, which can be recorded also. If the data is in video form, uh, the researcher should focus on the vision and the sound also. And if the data is in some kind of uh, print or web-based uh, text, he should also take care of the images uh, or the words, font, their format, their placement uh, on, on a certain uh, web page or, or newspaper or any print text. Uh, they, they also be taken uh, into account while analyzing a print text. And then the features uh, can uh, can be considered in relation with the contextual notes also in which context something something has been uh, printed or something has been said or filmed. So context is also very important. This involves uh, not only the context of the film or or the age of the film, but it also overall sociocultural or broader uh, broader con uh, social context. In most cases, there will be far too much data uh, to analyze in such situations, but a researcher would have to pick certain points or maybe one point of the data which may be more relevant. In order to do that, he, he, he will have to go back to, to the main data again and will find how important that data is in overall scheme of, uh, overall scheme of the data and would that be enough to reach a certain conclusion? And uh, after doing that, we, we can assume that the data, once data has been, has been seen through and a certain chunk of relevant data has been uh, separated from the other data, we can somehow assume that now the data can be analyzed analytically and critically. Uh, Talbot, uh, print uh, has discussed uh, analysis of the printed text uh, such as advertisements, cartoons, web pages, as well, as, well as film and television genres. Uh, both uh, Baldry and uh, Thibault have uh, used the idea of cluster, uh, which refers to a group of items uh, to analyze uh, material on web pages or in movies. Uh, they, they see that uh, uh, we can use cluster analysis to analyze things, uh, in, especially in print text. They claim that there is always a relationship between various items available in a cluster and we need to uh, see them as a group, as a cluster and try to analyze the relationship between them in order to reach uh, uh, the genuine or deeper meaning of, of, of such modes. Uh, in terms of film and television genres, uh, Baltry and Thibault, uh, discussion includes short phases and transitions between the phases in order to make the meaning.
they also discuss the relationship between a soundtrack and image in a movie and they see that a soundtrack serves as a background to the image it helps us to understand the meaning of the image sometimes a sad soundtrack may may take us uh, or may re- make us to relate with uh, with with the feeling of a character in a movie or feeling of a character which has been portrayed in a still image even uh, therefore uh, all these contextual fe- uh, uh, features also help us not only build a connection between what is being shown in the audience but also help the audience to get the deeper meaning of the text and such background elements such uh, multimodal elements help uh, the audience overall to to find critical meanings of a text and and the modes associated with that text uh, 